Hello, Burr fam and Pokemon fans. Welcome to day 15 in the countdown to Paldea. Uh, it's been such a long day and people are crazy, but let's talk about Dragonite today. That's right, we're talking about the OG Dragon-type Pokemon. Super strong, or it was supposed to be. Yeah, Generation 1 was, like, massively unbalanced. Uh... The only Dragon-type Pokemon in the game were, um, Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite, one evolutionary line, and they only had one Dragon-type move, but it didn't deal Dragon-type damage, and it was Dragon Breath, I think. Or was it Dragon Claw? It was either Dragon Breath or Dragon Claw, and I forget which one, but it only dealt, like, 40 HP damage every time. So, yeah. Um, I believe Dragonite is f Dragon Flying? Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I think it's Dragon Flying. So it was weak to Electric and Dragon and Ice. Yeah, dragons don't like ice or other dragons. Because the only thing strong enough to stop a dragon is another dragon. Or, from Gen 6 onward, Fairy-type Pokemon. Because Fairy-types were not in the games originally. Um, so, yeah. The, the first time we got introduced to Dragonite in the anime was in the episode with um, Bill. Where it was like a massive Dragonite. And it was supposed to be from like this... Um, Pokemon Park or something on somewhere in the Orange Islands, I think. Um, but it was just like this fantastically massive monster, and it just like it floated by his lighthouse and then just kept going, like it didn't stop or anything. So it didn't it didn't do any damage or anything it just kind of floated there for a little bit and then like swam the other direction cuz dragonite can actually swim um and lance the elite 4 member and later champion actually uses a lot of dragonites on his team they call him uh the dragon master but really, like, most of his teams are just flying types because Dragon only had two types, only two Pokemon in the first generation, or rather the second generation. Uh, the, se the second generation introduced Cedra's evolution, Kingdra, which was the only other Dragon type Pokemon in the game. Cedra wasn't Dragon type. Nor was it, nor was its pre-evolution horsey, but Kingdra was, and its only weakness was Dragon. So that was bad. But Dragonite's cool. Dragonite's actually amazing. It kind of looks a little bit like a more derpy Charizard, in my opinion, but it does look really kind of cute. Um, and a side note. A lot of people think that Charizard should be a dragon, but only Charizard X is a dragon, or Mega, Mega Charizard X. It gains the dragon type upon Mega Evolving, but because it was a Gen 1 starter, it would have basically canceled out its weakness to the water type if it gained the dragon type upon uh, evolving into Charizard, because... Dragons aren't weak to water. I mean, it would have been fine if um, Blastoise got, like, the ice type as its secondary stab. Um, but then you'd have to balance that out with Bulbasaur. But Bulbasaur was already poison grass, so that doesn't really work. That's why Charizard is not a dragon, and only Dragonite in Gen 1 was a dragon. So, tomorrow we're talking about... Who are we talking about tomorrow? Um, Clefairy. 
We're talking about Clefairy tomorrow. We're going to cover a couple of fairy types immediately after a dragon type, which is honestly hilarious. But, <coughs> excuse me. So tomorrow we'll talk about Clefairy. You all have a lovely evening and shine bright. We're getting so close. <laughs>